Oh, hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Chicago. Hey, is the sun going to come out? I don't know. It's been cloudy all morning, and it's it's trying to burn through here. We got low 50s, low 50 degrees here, like 53 degrees. I think it's getting colder. But uh, here we are, Michigan Avenue. That's a nice uh, wheelbarrow bike there. That's what I call it. And... Uh, what do we got? We're just after the noon hour, 12.03. Hey, Christy, how you doing there? Thanks for tuning in. How you doing there? We'll let everybody else start to uh, join us here on the Lunch Bunch. Yeah, I, don't, I have no huge agenda today. I figured I've been putting off going inside the St. Regis Hotel lobby there. We'll give it a try. There's no guarantee. We'll see if I go in there and what security says, but we'll give it a try. That's the tall building, uh, Jeannie Yang's building over there on uh, Wacker Drive. Hey, Julie, how you doing there, John James? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I, I know what you mean there. And uh, we'll see if uh, Krista and Christy. Krista and Christy. Thank you. That's, that's amazing. Amy, how you doing there? Yeah, it's a nice building there. Yeah, Jeannie Yang's a great architect. And she, of course, did the... Aqua, which is behind that building, you can't see it there. I know <laughs> these cars trying to make their last left turn. We had the walk light, and there's always conflicts, pedestrian car conflicts. Confl the world is beset beset with conflicts and conundrums, isn't it? Yeah, there's always too many, too many, too many people trying to get around here. But here's the old Republic building. Danny, how you doing there? Yeah everybody else and uh, hey we got dogs but that was fun yesterday we took a walk to the West Loop we saw the United Center it was kind of underwhelming because many people don't gather outside that it's just a bunch of a sea of parking and then people get inside and go in you know uh, go inside that atrium they built at it recently on the south side of, or the uh, east side of the United Center but it was nice. We got some good visuals. That's why I sped up that video and did a video montage. For some reason, I thought of the Rage Against the Machine Bulls on Parade. I know that's not what that song's about. That song's against the military industrial complex. It has nothing to do with basketball or Chicago Bulls. But I thought it was a funny play on words. And the Bulls, they came through last night. They beat the Atlanta Hawks. So they get to another game. And maybe they can sneak into the playoffs. But, uh, hey, welcome to Chicago. Welcome to 53 degrees, 12.06. Yeah, Krista, welcome in. Dolores, how you doing there? Yeah. Jen, oh, Jen, she lives in the St. Regis. That's great. That's great. We know people that live in that building. Yeah, it's a residential tower. It's not just a hotel. So on our way here, we'll, we'll, we'll take a little, a few blocks along the river walk. I'll walk down the steps, we'll go along the river walk, and then we'll walk up the stairs. Uh, you see where we're at here, the Marine Towers, Trump Tower. Uh, here's the Wrigley Building. You see all this stuff all the time. Yeah, we're gonna head this direction. We're gonna go over towards the St. Regis here. There it is. Hey, we'll catch this river boat pulling out here. Look at this. We'll go downstairs. This is where you catch the architectural cruise boats, not the water taxis, the architectural cruise boats. You head down here along the river walk, and there's uh, Chicago's Classic Ladies launching. Go on a three hour tour. There's a porthole for the bridge house. And uh, hey, thank you for visiting the river walk, Chicago Architecture Center, all the cruise boats. Andres, how you doing there? Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the lunch bunch here. So we'll get down the stairs. Tickets ahead. <laughs> yeah, people are still taking a cruise here, even on a kind of cold overcast, well, colder overcast day. It's still not bad for April Chicago standards. Here, we'll catch uh, Chicago's classic lady going by here. Yeah. Yeah, it would. Let's see. 
There's a lunchbox there. Oh, is there a lunchbox there? Okay, well, we'll check it out. There's the uh, DuSable Michigan Avenue Bridge. And yeah, look at the boat there heading under. Wrigley Building Tribune. Okay, good, so we'll head this way. Yeah, Chicago's First Lady and Mercury Cruises. Boat rides, private cruises. There's a boat dock right there. A few people down here. Oh, they had a fire. Okay, so I know there was a fire at the bottom of the Marina Towers. It was not, it was uh, two Fridays ago. It was when I was out of town to, to uh, film the eclipse. I saw TikToks on it. Was there another fire? Uh, was it at the St. Regis? I, yeah, I, there's always someone. There was there was several fires overnight. I saw in the news they were mostly residential buildings. You know, usually in a city this large, New York City and L.A. has the same issues. Every day there's multiple f fires, multiple uh, people shot, horrible traffic accidents in a city this large. And uh, I can't keep track of it all. Thanks for the news. A lot of times I learn stuff. So we'll, we'll see, we'll go over there and see. But here's where uh, shorelines across the way here. We got some more architectural cruise boats. We got some wind. Hey, yeah, uh, running around the trees there, that's great. And uh, happened last night. So which, which building burnt? Which, I see your comments there, John James. There's a lunch box, okay, St. Regis. Where was the fire at? Hey, Daryl, thanks for tuning in from Burbank there. I'm uh, confused where the fire was. I, 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 I hear. And uh, let's see. What uh, building are you talking about, John, that burnt? Uh, anybody else know? I, I, I missed the context here. Sometimes I live streaming half the time you're just confused. Like you, you catch a comment and you can't understand the context. It's like why I fly off the handle when like I'm tired and trying to get to work early in the morning and I start live streaming. And usually there's somebody right there at the beginning. They're like, why don't you ever go to the South side? And it, 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 they might just like live on the South side or they honestly want to see something on the South side. And the reason I react badly is because I'm usually tired and you know, it, it takes me additional effort to go to the south and west sides because I live on the north side. And it just, for me, it means like more work. It's not that I don't like the south side or I don't want to go to the south side. It just means it's more work for me. It's like it's like waking up in the morning and someone's like, take out the garbage. I'm like, why'd you got the garbage yesterday? Well, there's more garbage. And, you know, it's just like, I'm like, ugh. You know, because it's like every single day someone asks me to go to the south side all the time, every day. And I don't understand why it's so important. And, you know, I try to figure it out. I try to see if it's like something about me or if like because I live on the north side or I'm a white guy or, you know, they think I'm wealthy or they want to like, but it's mainly just people that are friends with me that live on the south side that want me to cover the south side more than I do. But it's, it's you know, I don't live there and I have to go out of my way to get there. And it's so easy for me to just walk around where I live which is the north side, you know, and that's why Chicago north side gets all the coverage and it's where the wealth is concentrated and I, I get that, I get that criticism. But, uh, yeah, you know, here, uh, here's the Wendella boats going by. You'll be downtown this weekend? Hey, very lucky guy, that's great. How's it going, Anita? Michael Anderson, yeah, I, it, so CBS to Chicago, okay, so... Yeah, you're right. I see your I see your con, con, uh, comment, Chanel. That's a good comment. That's what it is. And I have to accept the fact that I'm always going to get that content comment about, you know, people want to see the stereotypical, the bleeds that leads south and west side of Chicago. It happens on the north side, too. That's what I'm trying to tell them. <laughs> but uh, I, I still have no good answer for it. I just have to, like, ignore the comment I, I, when people say that. But, uh, so here, I'm going to head up the stairs here so we can, we can, uh, go up to the St. Regis here. So we went under to Columbus Drive. Here's Lower Wacker, the three levels of Wacker Drive. Look at that. It's almost like a diving platform. We'll go up the stairs here. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Welcome to the Lunch Bunch.
we are in Chicago and we're gonna head up the three levels of Wacker Drive here. We'll go to the top and we'll we'll see if we can check out the lobby of the St. Regis here. So CBS News, Channel 2, Michael, how you doing there? Anita, Julie, everybody else there. Did I miss anybody? Daryl from Burbank. That's great. So, uh, see, I get my Stairmaster. Brandon has the nice Stairmaster machines in his building. I use the real stairs out here in the real world. See, they're working. They're, they're adding a new concession there. But I, there's going to be a few months before they get it finished there. Hopefully they can get it finished before 4th of July. There's Wrigley. Look at that nice view. Oh, that gym. Brandon's gym is amazing. The amenities and the Optimus signature. He has four different levels of amenity decks the rooftop the uh there's like a 20th floor amenity deck there's uh i'll cross here there's the uh seventh and eighth floor he's got an outdoor pool he's got an indoor pool he's got that giant gym he's got a basketball court and uh the poor guy works so much at the hospitals that he says he can hardly use that stuff. I said, Chris and I said, well, hey, we'll use it. You know, <laughs> it was so nice of Brandon to show us it all. Look at these cars all making U-turns. They're all making U-turns because that's what, look, that one's going to do it too. All three of those cars got off Lakeshore Drive and made U-turns to go to the St. Regis. Because that's what you got to do. And it's legal, you know. But actually, they're going, they're getting back on the highway. Isn't that funny? Here comes the taxis are moving up. There's always a car trying to run me over wherever I go. Here we go, Swiss Hotel. Here's uh, Wacker Drive. Look at the uh, tulips here. Hey, we got some tulips. Palm restaurants here. Swiss Hotel. Yeah. This triangle shaped building. I think. Uh, Harry Weiss designed this. There you can see over the Navy Pier. Yeah. Where is the rooftop taco place near there? Okay, so can anybody help me out? I don't know what you're talking about. Is there a rooftop taco place? Is What building is it on? Again, back to my comment. Half the time when you're live streaming, you're confused. I don't, my brain leaks. I'm kind of tired. I stayed up watching that Bulls game last night and woke up in a grumpy mood even though the Bulls walk. Well, it's just because I'm getting tired. I walked five miles yesterday. I walked, I rode a bike five miles to get home. Look at the, look at the tulips there. So here we're getting close to, this is not the St. Regis yet. This is still the 345 East Wacker residential building. They call the coast. Hey. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it was fun. So look, there's uh, some of the residential high rises in Streeterville. There's where Darren Moreau lives. Look how you can look back. Sheridan. Are they still working on this? What? Oh, I thought this was done. I guess they're I wonder what they're doing here. I thought they had this finished, but uh, there it is. There's the St. Regis. It's condo residential towers above. There's a hotel here at the bottom. I'm just going to see what the glares I get from security when I go in here with the camera. I just want to see if we can film the lobby. I have not been inside the St. Regis lobby. I'm sure it's beautiful. I'm curious myself what it looks like, so we'll We'll try to check it out and then we'll walk over to uh, DeSable Harbor or go through the Lakeshore East Park here and uh, cruise down to Millennium Park. Thanks for tuning in. What we got Thursday? So here comes a car coming out here. The car is itching to run us over, revving their engines as we cross the street. 
Here we got uh, Mira Tradita. All these words I can't pronounce. St. Regis, Chicago. See these Navy piers over that way. They got this drop-off zone, which is nice. Here comes the the bellhops. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Thank you. How's it going? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate. It. Thank you. So here's the here's the lobby of the St. Regis. There's the check-in desk. Look how nice this is. I think there's a banquet hall over here. And then you can head around to the elevator lobby. Private event session. So they got a private event going on there. But I think there's a nice dining area down that way and probably some convention space. And then uh, you get to the elevator lobby that way. Here's the check-in desk here. They got a few uh, seats here. This is the St. Regis Hotel in the uh they used to call this the wanda vista but now it's called the st regis here so i personally do not like these high-end hotels because i don't feel like i belong here you know i grew up in very modest rural outbring when i went to the peninsula i got the looks i got from the staff you know it was just amazing but they, these are pretty pretty nice and it's you know i probably was like sweaty and disheveled and they thought i was a homeless person or something that's understandable it's all in my head it's all it's all my own personal insecurities i have a lot of those look at the here's the here's the great view looking at the uh Saba lakeshore drive bridge over the chicago river there you can see navy pier in the distance lake point tower here's streeterville and uh, what i'll do is can we head over this way i think we can get out this way yeah now this finally connects i remember when they built this first and then they, they, you see how it connects right to the entrance of the uh, St. Regis there. And uh, press pass. Yeah, I was thinking about getting a press pass. I, I talked to Danny about it. Danny says they really have, like the police or not, the police could care less if you have a press pass or not. Uh, even if you work for a major newspaper, he says there's no such thing as a press pass. It's just you have to pay dues to one of the organizations. They'll send you a card and make it looks all official and stuff like that. Um, I can still do it. I don't know if it's worth the money. So like I do with everything, I just procrastinated and didn't do it. Look at the site. Look how you can see the site. That's the prep site. Christopher, how you doing? Christopher, what are your thoughts on a press pass? You know, do you think a press pass actually would help me out during the upcoming Democratic convention that's going to happen in Chicago you know uh, I, I still got time to get one and then of course the Republican convention is going to be in Milwaukee um, Danny, Danny uh, who, who's spontaneously speaking he knows a lot about these things he worked in security for the TSA and for the John Hancock and he's like press passes yeah I'm not sure either Chris you know and so I talked about getting a press pass. I, I know Dan all day New York City has got a press pass. He was laughing too when he was covering the Chinese New Year Parade in New York. It got him behind the little line there, but he still was, didn't, you know, it doesn't give you carte blanche full access to everything. And, uh, but we're, we're, we're not as big as Dan there. <laughs> hey, how's it going there, Kevin? Thanks for tuning in there. Julie, yeah, that's good. Okay, so you see, you can clearly see the upper level of Wacker Drive. That's the lower level, middle level, where when you get off Glacier Drive, you go there, and that becomes the bypass around the city. And then there's the lower level where they tow your car. Here's some of the residential housing in Glacier East, and you see how it connects with these upper level streets. And we're we're literally 40 feet off the ground here, where there's two levels of streets below us below the uh, above the actual ground and then they can fill this in with parking decks above this housing and this is how this connects to the Wacker Drive overlooks there so we'll uh, we'll give you an overview down in this park of Lake Charisse. there's a nice dog park over here kind of terraces down and then we can cross over to DeSable Harbor see how that street connects behind the St. Regis we've been over here before there you see the tall St. Regis Tower that we just went inside and checked out the lobby. If there wasn't a private event, I would have tried to go down that 
area that I looked at with the nice chandeliers and stuff, but you know. Hey, there's tulips popping down there. That that looks enticing. I almost might want to head back through this park, but if the sun was shining, maybe we'll wait another day. We'll go down there and we'll film the tulips maybe tomorrow. We're supposed to get sunshine over the weekend, but it'll be cooler. It's going to be 50s. See, this is uh, Lakeshore East here in Chicago. There's a good view to Aqua, which is also Genie Gang. Yeah, it's nice. Streaming great. Good. Thanks. Thanks. Clear the rear. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Welcome to the Bunch Bunch. We got 50 people. That's pretty good for YouTube. And thanks for being on here. We'll, we'll head over. Let's let's go over to the lakefront. Let's see how windy it is by the lakefront here. So you see how you can look across. That's looking across to Streeterville. The lake's this way. I'll show you this park. We, we've done it before where you can kind of, it zigzags like switchbacks. Oops, there's a car trying to turn. Everywhere you go, there's a car like, there's just too many car pedestrian conflicts, but I think it's just because I'm tired today. I'm tired and cranky. Thanks for understanding. They call this Cascade Park. Welcome to Cascade Park, six to 12. You see how the terrace is down, you go underneath. You stop a Lakeshore Drive, there's the Ferris wheel for Navy Pier. And there you see the Aon building. We're east of the Aon building that nice little park we walk through this is this is a great amenity for the people that live in all these luxury condominiums and apartment buildings here and uh, especially if you got a dog that's what people are doing down there they're walking the dog and all this housing here there, there's supposed to be another tower there on the corner and uh, yeah Kevin Kevin with the ducks <laughs> the ducks are great yeah, maybe we'll cruise by the duck house tonight. They're, they're not out in the mornings. They, 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 the best time to catch them is in the evening walk home. We've been catching them. So maybe we'll cruise through Old Town tonight. Check on our friends, the ducks there. See how you can head down these stairs. So you, can, you can go that way. You can go straight down the stairs here. Take the shortcut. Yeah, the ducks. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, I would post more reruns of the ducks, but I want to save it in my back pocket. It's great for the live streaming content so people watch when I live stream. And if I post too many reruns of it, people won't watch the live streams. Ha! <laughs> that's, that's my theory, but I don't know if that's proven. Hey, they got some nice trees here. Nice residential housing here, Lake Shore East, Chicago. Yeah, walking the dog. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So, I'm uh, This is what happens. Uh, I'm very. It's a good problem to have once you get to fifty thousand. It started happening even when I got to ten thousand. But once you get to fifty thousand, I wonder if Jay's having the same problem too, but she's getting close to ten thousand on TikTok. Is uh, you get these? They're not people that work, represent TikTok, but they think they do because they're like the influencer marketers that they'll like, you know, if, if, if you uh, join our little guild here, we'll, 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 uh, we'll give you a lion. It's, it's like quid pro quo. It's like, you know, they really want you to market like whatever what they want to market. And they, they'll act like they like your content, but they won't even like, you, you can tell they're not even checking out your content. They're just uh, like trying to sell you something they're like it feels like i'm selling amway or something you know like a like a network marketing and they're like oh please follow us and, and join our join our little group here and and you're supposed to promote whatever what they want to promote but i avoid them i end up blocking them because they don't want me to promote something that i don't believe in you know some some like something they're trying to sell and i'm like you know where do these people come from they're usually not from America they're from like some other country and you know it's the dangers of of uh, the internet and I just don't want to get involved in them you know and some of them use really high pressure tactics but it's just the nature of I think the whole purpose of TikTok. oh okay let's talk about this did anybody see New York Times had an amazing series of articles about TikTok because of course it's going to become a front of Congress 
Johnson, the Speaker of the House, tied the TikTok banning bill to the Ukraine funding. And so it's, it's, it's all mushed in there where if you want to vote, vote that the ban TikTok, you have to vote for the Ukraine funding, which of course, and I'm not trying to be political here, this is just stuff that's in the news. And, and, and of course, the Republicans don't want to, some of the Republicans don't want to vote for the Ukraine funding, multiple reasons. It's a very complex issue. But <laughs> as a part of this, they, some documents released from a court case where there is a Susquehanna capital. You know how there's all these giant hedge funds like Sequoia, Susquehanna, General Atlantic, these giant hedge funds who donate to political campaigns, both on the right and the left. Remember how we talked to, because of globalization, Americans' money's all mixed in with Chinese money, and that's why I find it ironic that they want to ban TikTok, even though there's American investors, including Susquehanna, this guy named Yas, Jeff Yas, who donates, he's a libertarian, he donates heavily to the Republican Party, he probably donates to the Democrats too, but he was an earlier investor in ByteDance and actually helped finance when it was... You know, and so there, here's an American hedge fund investing in ByteDance for years, since, 20, since 2012, 2018. And, this, and he's lobbying Congress not to ban TikTok. You know why? He's invested in ByteDance. And this is American company, including some of your 401k money, could be invested in Susquehanna, Sequoia, General Atlantic. General Atlantic invests in the American military industrial complex national security firms and so there's national security money that's invested into tiktok new york times has an article laying it all out and it's, it isn't it amazing that once it came out the court they they immediately redacted and and made the those those, those documents that were leaked made it so the press couldn't see them there's so much going on in the background here it just why do Generation X people like me and other people, other conspiracy theorists, why do we have so little faith in government? They're all hypocrites, you know, including me. I'm a hypocrite. Do we expect politicians that take, they have, they have to take corporate money to finance their campaigns, all these competing interests? So, if, you know, I don't know if you have a, I know some people don't like the New York Times because of the liberal bias, but... This is interesting about how it relates to TikTok, them wanting to ban TikTok, and how American Bunny invested in ByteDance. And then, like, Steve Mnuchin wants to buy it, but he's buying it like like Susquehanna will have to take a loss. So they're, they're picking winners and losers, and some of the winners and losers are Americans that invested in ByteDance, and including people that have this private capital. You know, it, it, it's, like, it's like the end of Animal Farm, where... You know, that's what the whole point of Animal Farm was, that the people that ran the communists ended up being capitalists and exploiting the labor too. Just The communists ended up exploiting their labor just like the capitalists and the bourgeoisie. And that's what the pigs were at the end of Animal Farm, and that's what's going on now. Does this make any sense? I know I'm rambling on here, but it's just amazing what's going on. Yeah. That's good. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in here. I know, over half of, of, of the For You page is advertisement, including American companies. It's all just a big promotion, eyes on the screen, no, it's nothing different than Google. There's the Google story where Google's fly, f firing their employees. Remember when Google said, don't be evil? And now they're, they're, they're you know, it, 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 is, it is pretty flagrant that some of their employees are protesting their own company that they work for because they're, they're supporting Israel. And I, again, I'm not trying to be political. I'm just talking about news articles that are in the news that you might not have seen. And it's, it's amazing what's going on here, you know. And it's social media is at the center of all this. It's at the center of our elections. It's at the center of, of the, 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 the money that sloshes around the world that tries to influence us. There's Chinese influence, but there's American influence too. Americans spy on other Americans. Corporations spy on Americans. The Chinese spies on Americans. America spies on the Chinese. It's like handing out tickets at the Indy 500. And it's just all posturing and manipulation. It's enough to make you put tinfoil on your head, you know. But hey, welcome to Chicago. We're here by Dusabo Harbor. Look at these great views we got to Navy Pier. There's one boat in the harbor. Usually the April, they can start putting their boats in the harbor. I see a few boats over there. Here's some boats that are in the harbor. 
there's some smaller boats we'll start to see this harbor start to fill up as we get to may here we'll start to see some of the sailboats i can't wait till next week hopefully some of the sailboats will start to uh start to uh come up the river and we can film it on wednesdays but hey thanks everybody for tuning in Demishi, how you doing there yeah see follow the money you know what's going on see you deal with the two there and yeah thanks everybody let's walk out here let's let's uh, check out the columbia yacht club here this uh giant laker and we'll check out the harbor we'll get some nice views of the city here what time we got here 12 34 has anybody been on the columbia yacht club here you can join this thing for money there's like restaurants and and other things over here i haven't walked out here in a long time let's see what the views look like and how far we can get out see members only members only <laughs> chicago yacht club that's great I wouldn't want to belong to a club that would have someone like me as a member. <laughs> it's an old Groucho Marx book. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an old Laker. They turned into the Columbia Yacht Club. And there's restaurants and all kinds of amenities on there. You can rent boats. And this is DuSable Harbor. Look at these views we get back to the skyline here. Hey, thanks everybody. Yeah, please follow Demishi. He has great content there. The Bavarian Alps, so beautiful. Did you guys get some snow? I, I saw the trees were turning green. It was beautiful. You had a mild winter just like we have. Seems like spring's coming really early this year, just like here in Chicago. You're getting that in Europe as well. Denise, how you doing there? Yeah. Tara, you remember this boat? Yeah, here's the Fred A. Bussy. Remember we see the Fred A. Bussy? We saw Chris and... Uh, Brandon and I saw the Fred A. Bussy when we were on that water taxi. It was going the other way. You can rent this boat for parties. And uh, yeah, it's like the Titanic. Look, here's the back of it. Here's the back of it. How you doing? I'm talking loud, I know. <laughs> hey. hey, the seagulls are out here. Let's go to the end here. Let's rid the, film the Fred A. Bussy here, fire boat. So this thing's uh, retired. That's why they use it. They got a much larger, more modern, fire boat that's the one we saw spraying the jets out when we when they had that homeland security exercise last year see how you can yeah. and we'll turn around we'll get amazing views of the skyline here we're heading out to the end here see how this is how you can get out from yeah oh yeah look at the look at the seagulls wow so there's navy pier here there you can look so let's zoom in here yeah, the old fire boats. Here it is, the Fred A. Bussy, and you see the Columbia Yacht Club. We'll get some views of the skyline here. There you go. Look, there's the Lake Shore East skyline back to the John Hancock, the Streeterville skyline. Look how you can look up to the seagulls here. So here, let's zoom in here a little bit. Hopefully, I won't lose anybody or mute myself. That's the lighthouse. That's the lighthouse at the mouth of the Monroe Harbor. And I've kayaked out there. That's about a mile out. And then... Uh, there's the end of Navy Pier. There's some of the boats. There's the Sable Hotel. If you want to see, you could rent hotel rooms and get the fireworks there. That's all Navy Pier there. There's the Ferris wheel right there. So they got that new ride there that you could take there. Yeah, it's a beautiful pier. So hopefully I won't make anybody sick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pan around along the horizon here and uh, follow this break wall. That's the open water of Lake Michigan. And see there, there's, there's Indiana. Those are the steel mills of Indiana down towards Gary and Hammond. That's looking south from where we're at here. And that's, that's the South Shore, that's Hyde Park. And then that dome you see, that's the Adler Planetarium. That's the Adler Planetarium. We ride a bike down there sometime. We go out there where Northerly Island is. There's the convention center. That was designed by Gene Summers, an architect, influenced by Mies van der Rohe, worked with Mies. I met Gene Summers. When I first moved to Chicago, I met Gene Summers. I think that's his first name. He was retired. Some of the older architects, they said, I didn't realize how important this was that I got. Some of my architect friends met Mies van der Rohe before he died in like 1970, and they were little kids. And uh, because their friends were in the design, or their parents were in the architecture field. There's uh, the Shed Aquariums right there, 
and then there's the Field Museum. So that's what we're looking and we're panned in. That's the South Loop of Chicago. But here, so let me uh, turn. Let me zoom back out here. Let's see. Yeah, we can zoom back out. And let me turn the chat back on. Hey, thanks Patricia. Thanks Anna Marie. Thanks Sharon. Everybody for staying on there. Yeah, the seagulls are always. They're always like mine, mine, mine. You know. Yeah. Christopher, yeah. Lots of goals. I got lots of goals. I never meet them. I always, I, I'm not, I don't meet my own expectations. Here, look at that view to uh, Lakeshore East, Streeterville skyline. People are out here, walking out here. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. yeah. Here's the Columbia Yacht Club. And then here's the uh, Usabo Harbor here. Part of Monroe Harbor is the north end of it. And uh, it's nice here. We got 12:39, so I got 20 minutes. We'll just head straight through Millennium Park. See if I can make it back to Michigan Avenue here in 20 minutes. Here, thanks for tuning in. Welcome, to Chicago. How's everybody doing? We got uh, 53 degrees Fahrenheit. What is that? Like 10 Celsius centigrade. And we got 12:39 in the p.m. Yeah, I want to go down there. Jay, Jay, Jay recently filmed the Obama Library construction progress down there in Jackson Park. I was there in the fall. It looks like they made some more progress, but it's still they still got a long ways to go. It's behind schedule. Uh, it's pretty tall now, so probably end of this month or beginning of May, I'll make a trip down to Hyde Park and we can check it out. I want to go down there too because, you know... The, the Japanese gardens in springtime are just beautiful. And of course, Museum of Science and Industry, the University of Chicago, the Midway Plaisance, we've been down there before. Yeah, I need to do an update on the Obama Presidential Library. Thanks for, see, there's so many things to go to do. I'm a pretty lazy person, you know, but this motivates me to get out. And just like last night, we went to the West Loop. If it wasn't for that Bulls game, I wouldn't have went over there. That gave me the reason to go over there to film the united center but we saw some stuff along the way i'm still cutting out the footage i posted some stuff to TikTok. i posted the sears tower and union station and i also posted uh inside the rookery which you know we've been in there before we've been in there on youtube but just people in TikTok land don't watch the youtube so i got to do it twice or i got to convert the videos and they won't turn their phone sideways i understand you know it's just the nature of different formats here but here we got a beer truck coming behind us here <laughs> here urban kayaks you can rent some kayaks here columbia yacht club so here you see where we're at here we'll we'll cruise around the uh walking path hey they got those little sailboats ready to go they I, we, maybe later this spring we'll see them practicing they teach people how to sail on those little sailboats and they kind of do it in this protected harbor here. They do the same thing in Belmont Harbor. We've caught that last year. Yeah, cold beer. Yeah, talk to the beer truck over there. There's plenty of beer. See that there's a see there's a barge out there? They're 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 laying the the buoys. The buoys for the Monroe Harbor. There's a, you know, they line up all the buoys in Monroe Harbor. You, you use the tender service to get your boat because there's not docks. And you got to use the tender service and you moor your sailboat. And it just spins in a circle whatever way the wind's blowing. I've been out there. And, uh, yeah, we're by the Titanic. There it is, the Columbia Yacht Club. <laughs> we're uh, heading around. Monroe Harbor here, there you see the beautiful skyline of South Loop Chicago, and here's the whole loop of Chicago. We'll head this way. Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Yeah, how's uh, how's Howard Stern doing? And all those, his uh, staff used to say that. A lot of people, it's a New York thing, I think. New York City thing. Yeah, thanks for the emojis, everybody, and the tuning in here yeah that's what they're doing they're, they're laying the buoys in there another sign of spring there and there's the monroe yacht boathouse there and uh every summer they do the mackinac race and they start and they have a big party there here there's the saint regis we were at the bottom of it we the lobby was smaller than i expected but 
I'm sure it's pretty nice once you get a lot of it's like VIP like it was closed off for a private event everything's a velvet rope and cost money everything for a price here comes the helicopter maybe this helicopter is gonna fly right over us here hold on hopefully I won't mute everybody yeah the lunch bunch something new every day thanks for tuning in let's let's see if I can get a beeline on this helicopter let's see where is it at here so it's right there there it is there's a helicopter so this helicopter is coming right towards us oh man it's gonna fly right over us here comes the helicopter remember we saw that helicopter land that one that one day it landed out at the Coast Guard there it was a police helicopter this is just like a tour I guess I don't know what it is yeah always something but here we got 1244 I better start heading back to Michigan Avenue I'm not gonna make it I always uh, takes longer I didn't expect I didn't plan on walking out to that long pier there hey that's a nice view to Lakeshore East Pretty cool. Yeah, I would love the crew on a Mackinac boat, Mackinac boat. I said Mackinac, Mackinac. I've had friends I work with that have done that, and it's 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 it, you know it, you stay up you know they, they work in shifts. You run twenty four seven. The race you know it takes about a day and a half or two days depending on you get up there. It could be dangerous. People have died. They've capsized in the middle of the. Uh, there was a horrible accident a few years ago where some people they they capsized in the middle of the lake michigan and people died it was you know but that's that's rare that's rare for the usually it's not that bad but yeah they usually load up all the boats with a bunch of food and shrimp and drinks and you work in shifts around the clock and you know they go up to there's a big party up in mackinac where the connection between lake michigan and lake huron is and there's that big bridge that connects to the upper peninsula of michigan and they do that every year so yeah, that would be awesome. But the problem is, I of course, I wouldn't have internet connection in the middle of the, unless we had a satellite. But then they wouldn't. I'd be dead weight if I wasn't working. I wouldn't have time to stream. They they give you something to do the entire time. You're either sleeping or working. It's a real race. But uh, yeah, I know I've known people that have been in it. But I, I I could like film the beginning. Usually they have like boat races. They have like those speed those giant races those, those giant sailboats that race around the buoys they they the chicago's on the circuit so usually they have some in, in navy pier i missed it last year because i was in texas i think when it was happening but uh, we'll try to catch it this year there's a crashed airliner that's never been found that's amazing i know there's some uh world war ii era airplanes that are at the bottom of lake michigan because they used to practice during world war ii they would train people how to land on aircraft carriers using those old lakers that they retrofitted as air, short little aircraft runways and there's some scuba divers go down there and so yeah it wouldn't surprise me what you're saying i'll look into that but hey uh welcome to chicago welcome to uh you know, we're in grant park 66 that's great yeah the great lakes can be really nasty this this thing can get really angry storms blow up really quickly lake superior's bad notorious that's where the Edmund Fitzgerald, a, a giant Laker lost, you know, the whole crew. That happened in the 70s, I think, or 60s, 1960s, I don't know. But here, we'll head over to, uh, we'll cross uh, Usable Lakeshore Drive. Let me let me run to get up here so I make sure I catch this next cycle. The light, the light's really long, so I don't want to miss it here. Look at the nice uh, ornamental trees here. Camera's probably shaking a little bit here. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. That's ah, okay. I'm not gonna run that fast. We'll catch the next cycle here. There's the giant playground there, Maggie Daly Park. Maybe I can ride a bike back. There's the Monroe uh, Yacht Club. We'll pan around to the skyline of Chicago here. 1975. Thank you. That's that's that. Uh, thanks for the good information there. Yeah, that's they made that song about the Edmonds Fitzgerald. It's a haunting sea shanty there. Hey, the trees are looking good. They're turning green. I have never seen these large trees 
in Grant Park bloom with green leaves this early? What is this, April 18th? Usually it's May and they're still not green and they're green right now. Here we'll, I'll show you the, the, the nice pinks. We'll, we'll cross, uh, I'll show you where you catch the tender service if you ever need to catch the tender service to uh, go out in the Monroe Harbor. It's right down here. And uh, here's the Desopolis Lakeshore Drive. There's Skyline of Chicago. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, see, there's the St. Regis. Oops, let me get off the road here. And uh, look at these beautiful trees here. The little pink flowers. But yeah, the tender service is right down there. And here, let me circle back because I definitely don't want to miss this cycle, the light here. So, uh, or I'll be stuck here forever. I'll never get back to work. Yeah, the Edmund Fitzgerald. Yeah, we're going to get it here. Look at that view to the St. Regis. John Baptiste Point Cassava Lakeshore Drive, or Jean. There we go. Right on time, right on time. So there's uh, Lakeshore Drive. You can see straight to the Field Museum. Look across here. It's always like car debris here. There, there's a nice view. Mama Goo, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you were able to hook up with us on TikTok. And thanks for joining us for the Lunch Bunch. We just walked through uh, Lakeshore East. We were in the lobby of the St. Regis, but it wasn't too much. So here we'll just head through Maggie Daly Park, go back to Millennium Park, and I'll just head back to work here. But thanks for tuning in. If you missed any part of this, you can watch the whole full rerun. That's the good thing about YouTube. And Bob, how you doing there? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, you guys saw some of the stuff in the West Loop last night too, which was nice. Trees are popping. Once we get this sun over the weekend, it'll be really beautiful this weekend. It'll be cool. It won't be that warm. But I'd rather be sunshine and cool than warm, muggy and overcast. John Baptiste just played Coachella. Yeah, I watched. I watched some of the uh, live streaming of Coachella. It was nice. And uh, it was nice that they live stream that, so I don't have to go. I actually knew somebody that went there. They traveled from Chicago to California to go to the Mojave Desert there, or the edge of it there, the Joshua Tree. Has anybody been to Joshua Tree? National Park there. It's just beautiful. 29 Palms. Palm Springs, California. Yeah. Yeah, the meeting went late. That's what happens sometimes. Yeah, I have the same problem. You know, the real life calls. That's why. Good thing about YouTube. If you miss any part of the live, you want to watch it later at your own convenience. We can watch the whole reruns. And I do the same thing sometimes. Hey, welcome to Chicago. Welcome to Maggie Daly Park, which is part of Grant Park, Jason Millennium Park. We got these nice skyline views. We got 1252. We'll head straight to the BP Bridge and we'll head back to Michigan Avenue here. I know people, some people got to start getting back to work anyway. Just like me, you're supposed to get back at one. I didn't start this exactly at noon, but I didn't plan on walking out behind the Columbia Yacht Club and that's what threw my schedule off here. We do the best we can. And I still want to cut out, there's so much more footage I want to cut out from last night where we uh, went to the West Loop. We got Hamburger University, we got, uh, we went down that nice little pedestrian mid-block alley that connects all those restaurants with those ghost signs jay's filmed that too and uh may i, I want to film that Mar mary or i want to cut out that mary bartelme park there with those little gates you know that that was a nice little park in the west loop 
that some people don't know about. It's kind of hidden, a hidden gem, hidden gem here in Chicago. Look at the birds. Yeah, how you doing there, bird? <laughs> hey, thank you for visiting. Gracias. Maggie Daly Park. Yeah, so we'll leave Maggie Daly. We'll head to Millennium Park. Look at these great skyline views. Thanks for tuning in. How's everybody doing here? 64 people. That is great. We're getting more and more people tuning in. I appreciate it. Trying to get back in my regular schedule. Thanks for giving me a break there. Yeah, I've ridden a bike. Yeah, I've ridden a bike. We'll, we'll, we'll get on a bike. We'll, we'll head down to Miggs Field, uh, which is now Northerly Island. It's beautiful down there. The best way, you know, it's past the museum campus there, the Adler Planetarium. Beautiful skyline views. I've got reruns of it. I know it's just hard to find. Every, every day I create new content, it piles up on the old content, and no one can find the old content. And they're like, have you done this? And I'm like, yes, but then they can't find the video. And I just have to keep redoing it over and over again. And then people are like, you're doing the same stuff over and over again. <laughs> I'm on a loop. The loop radio station. Here's uh, look at that skyline view. Yeah, we've done this many times. Hey, they're taking pictures too. Yeah, it's good. That's what you do when you walk across this bridge. Yeah, watch the live streams. Live streams are always the most valuable things. Real time. You can get real time feedback. And uh, yeah, some other time. Yeah. 30 minutes. That's good. You were stationed at 29 Palms? That's good. Yeah, I know where that's at. That's out there by Joshua Tree. Yeah, I ridden a bike a few times. I got a helmet, so uh, that helps out. If it was, you know, I thought about going down to Northern Island, Island but it's, it, I want a sunny day. I want a sunny day to go down there. There's a nice beach there, 12th Street Beach or whatever they call that. Look at this view. Heading across the BP Bridge. No one calls it that. They just call this the Millennium Park Bridge. Look at the Aeon. There's the Columbus Drive. So they're going to do the J.P. Morgan Corporate Challenge here pretty soon. We, we did it last year. Uh, a lot of my colleagues, they run in that race. I'm not going to run in it, but I can film it. And I'll try to bring the backup battery because last year there was my connection kept cutting out because when you get big crowds of people there, it always has problems with maintaining the connection. Look, they're working on the. Sounds like I had a jackhammer going on in the in the Prisker band show. I wonder what. There's the bean though. You see the bean there. The beans. We'll head over to the bean there. We'll go right by the bean as we head back to Michigan Avenue, 1256. I got little raindrops, little raindrops, so there is some rain in the area. It's gonna cause me to really want to get back to work now. It's starting to, cold rain starting to fall, but it's not too bad yet. We'll get around here, we'll head over to the Bean and make a beeline for Michigan Avenue here. But here's the Prisker Band Show, Millennium Park, Chicago. Am I streaming okay? Good. So the candy section in Macy's is, I think it's in the basement. I have hard time streaming from there because Chris and I have talked about the Frango candy and I went down there but it's in the basement and so I have a hard time maintaining a constant stream down there because there's just too many levels of concrete. It's at the base, bargain basement level of Macy's. But yeah, there's candy, there's a candy section down by Barber's Bookstore there on the basement level of Macy's. And uh, you, can, you can order it online, the Frango candy, I think that's what they call it. And they got other brands too as well. But you get the Frango. It says Marshall Fields on it. But here's uh, the Bean and the uh, Pritzker Band Show here in Chicago. We're doing good. Yeah, the repetition. You know, it's just we get to show Chicago at different seasons of the year. Like we're showing the tulips now. Now we're in the tulip season. We do, we do the spring, the spring trees. We can do the fall trees. We can do the snow. We can do the hot summer beach. Usually in the summertime, I hit the beaches more. We can hit Oak Street Beach and North Avenue Beach on the way. And all the people will gnash their teeth and they say, why don't you go to the south side? I said, we've got this beautiful beach on my way home from work. Why, is this not good enough for you? No one's, anybody can use those beaches. Anybody can use, they're free and open to the public. 
South Siders are welcome at North Side Beaches, you know. The South Side Beaches are great too. South Side Beaches get really crowded too. And uh, if I lived on the South Side, I would film the South Side Beaches. I think you guys understand that. It's just so funny. Everybody's got their requests. You guys are great. You guys understand. So here we'll go by the, the trees are really blooming nice here. It's so nice to see the green trees and look at the tulips. Yeah, we got some tulips here. We got some orange and yellow and ivory tulips here. Look at that. There's there's the sky bridge. You can get to the modern wing of the Art Institute that way. Look at the beautiful tulips. Thanks, John James. Thanks, my, uh, Michael. I'm a goo. Yeah, the walnut room. That's awesome. Yeah, the walnut room is very popular, especially at Christmas time. They, they decorate it so nice. We went up there. Well, we actually went in the walnut room beginning of December. It, or, or I think it was November. They were just starting to set it up. And we actually snuck in there. I think that was on YouTube. So we got to go back, search for that. I think I labeled it Walnut Room. So maybe if you do a search for Walnut Room, you might be able to find it. But here's the bean, the great bean of Chicago. I mean, let me raise the uh, selfie stick so maybe we can get above the fence here a little bit. There, can you see it? I'm right at the level. I'm, they just make this fence just high enough. And I can't get over it and they, they don't know what they're doing they just they don't want people to film it they paved over paradise hey you can kind of see it through the fence there we'll get hey, there they're working on it at least they're but yeah there's no way this is going to be open anytime soon they they I don't know what's taking them so long it looks like they got some steps See, they got some steps, concrete steps, some precast concrete steps that they got there. We can see it the other way. But, uh, Anna Marie, thanks a lot there. What is that? Person eating spaghetti, turquoise, music note, baseball. See, I, because of Streamlabs, I know you sent me some nice emojis there, and I appreciate it. They're stickers or whatever it is, and I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. I'm getting the verbal description of what they are, and, I, and it's, for some reason it doesn't translate through Streamlabs, but I hope everybody else can see that. Look at the nice, here's the view of the bean here. There we go. Check your progress. See those steps? See how they're, they're working on the side here. And yeah, a little bit. But the, rain, the rain's starting to come down. See the umbrellas are out. So I'm going to head back to work here. But we'll, we'll film the... We'll film the tulips here. The rain ink, I'm not gonna melt. I can deal with the rain here. Hey, the tulips are looking nice. Yeah, she's taking pictures of them too. Look at the beautiful tulips here. We'll head around this way. People are trying to get a glimpse of the bean. Beautiful tulips, springtime in Chicago. Yeah, can't wait to go back. Is it nice? Thanks, Renee, Andres, Michael, Shannon. Yeah, I, I really hope it's done by July. It, it should be done by July. I, I thought it would be done by May, or I thought it would be done by now. But uh, it's the nature of construction. It always goes over schedule. It should be open by July. Yeah, it should be open by July. I really, I'll keep you. I'll keep you updated. And if it's not, we'll, we'll, you'll be able to tell by watching my live stream. So uh, see how they're, they're pressure washing. The pressure washing, the, how you doing? The pressure washing the uh, side there, that's nice. Yeah, we'll see you on the walk home there. I'll be on TikTok. We'll see if we can catch the ducks tonight. We'll walk through uh, Old Town on our way home. And we'll film this beautiful colonnade here. Look at all the birds. Look at all the birds out here. These are pigeons. These are pigeons eating grass. <laughs> or they're picking through the grass. They're trying to find something to eat there. <laughs> yeah Barry Linden how's it going no we, yeah we you're right route 66 does go down Ogden do you know it, it actually starts on Adams Street where the Art Institute is the begin route 66 sign I filmed it before I'll do it later to, to, to prove it to you the begin route 66 sign is at Michigan Avenue and Adams then it goes it, the signs you can follow Adams past the Sears Tower 
west to Ogden Avenue. And then, yeah, you're right. It makes a left there at Ogden. Head southwest. Ogden Avenue is Route 66. You are correct. And it starts in Chicago. That's great information there. Thanks for uh, mentioning that. We show that. And it surprised me, too, when I found out the begin sign was right across from the Art Institute. And we filmed it. And, uh, hey, we can sing the song. It goes all the way to St. Louis. <laughs> There we'll cross Randolph in Michigan. There's the cultural center. It used to be the Chicago Public Library. And there's this new restaurant. Hey, you can lease out this restaurant. They built this nice new restaurant, but I don't think anybody's leasing it out. So maybe this will be the new signature lounge or something. I don't know. Here's the last car going across here. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make it across Randolph where the next car tries to run us over. And... Uh, it's looking up Randolph. Yeah, look look at this. Look at this new restaurant here. We've been watching this construction progress for a year now. And it's finally nearing completion. There's uh, looking down uh, Randolph, the Netherlander, Michigan Avenue. The great view we get to the Wrigley Building, straight up Michigan Avenue. Thanks for tuning in. 104. We made it back faster than I thought. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Yeah. Tamishi, thanks for being on. Thanks to you for showing us the beautiful Bavarian Alps. Please follow Demishi, our friend and fellow traveler here that uh, tunes in on the Lunch Bunch. I, I really enjoy watching Demishi's beautiful tours through the Alpine uh, Bavarian Alps there. Springtime in Germany is great. And everybody, Christopher Dotson has good content. Christopher Dotson's uh, posting. How you doing? Yeah, I'm on YouTube. How's it going? How you doing? No, sorry, man. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. I didn't realize what he was asking. I thought he was asking directions or something. I'm amazed that people see a live streamer and they, they think we're fresh meat. Like, I, I must look like a tourist or something. I think that's why he thinks I'm streaming here. That's okay. But wish him well. Here's Stan's Donuts. We went by Garrett's Popcorn, Nutella, Nando's. Yeah, hey, Giordano's is right around the corner. Chicago-style pizza. We'll wrap this up. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Yeah, Christopher Dotson has great content in New York City and other things that he's educating us about, having good discussions, and uh, how to not get scammed. That's good information there, Christopher. Yeah, you know, there's always scams. We talk about it. I was talking about it earlier, too. The paranoia. No wonder everybody's anxious. Everybody's trying to sell somebody something all the time. Everything's a scam. <laughs> Hey, take care, everybody. I hope you have a good rest of the day. We'll see you on TikTok tonight. And we'll keep this show on the road. Have a great day there. Yeah, Anna Marie, Michael, and Dolores, and Patricia. Everybody else. Bob, Julie, John James, Chris, Renee, Andres, Damishi, Kevin, Mama Goo. Glad you found us on TikTok. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day, everybody. We'll, we'll 